Hello everyone and welcome to my latest tutorial. Today's tutorial is aimed towards beginners, people who are learning Photoshop for the first time uh, and are new to the program and the software and it's very simple, playing with gradients and shapes. Uh, if you're very familiar with Photoshop, okay, I, I, I'm explaining quite a few things so feel free to skip forward uh, or just watch for a little bit of inspiration and uh, see how I go about making my edits. So without further ado, I'll get straight into it. So. I like to work uh, a lot on shortcuts, so I'm going to press Command N because I'm working on a Mac. We can press Control N. So at any point, I, I use the phrase Command. Okay, you can just use Control. Okay, and the new document size, the width is going to be 750, and the height is going to be 1,000 pixels. Okay, you can change the uh, settings here, but I like to work in pixels. The resolution is going to be 300 pixels per inch, RGB color, 8-bit, and a white background. And I'm going to click OK. So what I like to do is as well, I like to uh, just drag and drop that padlock out of the way uh, so it's not locked our background layer. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a gradient. So I'm going to go over to the gradient tool over here, or you can press, as you can see there, it's got a G for a gradient tool. So you can press G on your keyboard and your gradient tool pops up. Now you'll notice at the top uh, everything changes. So when you change things on your toolbar, all the uh, options become available. So I'll just quickly talk through it here. This is like a linear gradient. This is a radiant gradient. Okay, and these are just different shapes of uh, gradients. And these are the uh, blend modes and the opacity. So the blend modes uh, are the way it reacts with the pixels underneath. And blend modes are quite important in, in your layers as well. So I won't get too bogged down in that just, just yet. However, what we're going to do is we're going to do a, uh, a gradient, a linear gradient. Okay, so I'm going to, mine's uh, already selected there. So what you, what you should see here is probably, if you're on a basic, is something like this, a black and white gradient. So the first color I'm going to input, I'm going to click on this little color down here. Okay, I'm going to select the color. I'm going to put in B7 F A 8 D. And I've got this nice lime color. And I selected this uh, from Raheem's shirt. And I just I moved it over a little bit just to make it a bit more limey, a bit more of a lime color. Okay, the colour over on the right I'm going to use is D, B, 5, 2, 5, 7. Okay, and uh, I think these are called hex codes. I should I should know this. I should know this, but uh, the name escapes me. I'm sure it's hex codes. Um, I'll put it in the description below what it's actually called, um, if it's anything different. But these are different colours on your, on your colour picker. So I'm going to press OK, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to add another one. So in the middle as well, I'm just going to change that color, and the color is going to be D nine A four seven A, and it's this peachy color. And again, this was selected from Raheem shirts. Now, if you notice, just uh, out of interest, okay, this location fifty two percent. This means it's oh, fifty two percent along here. So if I slide it up, okay, it moves along sixty percent. So this will be zero. This will be a hundred, okay. And the location, I'm going to put back bang in the middle. Uh, now, I've got a linear gradient. Now you could just drag and drop, okay. Not keep it very straight, and you can see it's not very, it's not a very straight gradient. So I'm going to press Command Z to undo what I've just done. Okay, I'm going to hover just roughly about a fifth of the way down. Okay, I'm going to hold Shift on my keyboard. I'm going to drag and drop, and this keeps it perfectly vertical. I'm going to go to the bottom. And release and you can see now our linear gradient is nice and straight which is fantastic next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in an, an eclipse and a clip a lip a lip I can't pronounce the word ellipse tool so I'm going to press you on our keyboard okay if you don't see the ellipse tool okay just hold down okay and these options pop up for different shapes and we want the ellipse tool I'm going to select a new layer because I like to work in layers so when you're working in layers, it means you can edit and adjust layers without affecting other layers underneath. It's a little bit, um, it's not very complicated to explain, but if you're new to Photoshop, don't get bogged down in it too much. Just create, click this little icon down here to create a new layer. Now, make sure you've got shape selected. The fill, I'm going to you know, for a gradient, so I'm just going to click uh, gradient just here. And again, with the black, I'm just going to click double click this color 
and I'm going to go for A A F for F F, and it's this light blue colour. So I'm associating with um, the gradients with Man City's away shirt, but also blue for Manchester City. I'm going to keep it white there, and let me just check. Yeah, we've got it on linear and scale 100, and that's looking good. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag out something like that. Yep, so we've drawn our ellipse. Uh, ellipse. So what we can do is we can just click back up on this, uh, this fill layer here. Okay, we were on the gradient. Okay, and if you want to change the um, where the blue is, okay, you can just rotate it around. Go for something like that. Or bring it back around like that. I'm going to keep the light over there. So I've got it on the 76, so it's just off at an angle. So it's uh, looking okay. Now it may come back and resize that one. In fact, I'm going to press Command T, okay, and I'm just going to drag it down. Now, if you're working in older layers of Photoshop, okay, when you move it, okay, it'll change in proportion. So it'll let's have a look if I hold Shift. It'll be doing something like this, okay. So if you're in the later uh, versions of Photoshop, I think 2019, 2020, like myself, okay, you can just hold one corner and everything will grow in proportion. You don't need to worry about that. So I'm going to go for a shape like that. Okay, next I'm going to bring in the clouds. Again, I'm just going to drop it down. Now if you hold Alt on your keyboard and drag and drop, it will grow in proportion as well. It's a handy little tip. And I'm just going to resize it to something like that. Hit V on your keyboard for your move tool, just up here. You can move things around. Okay, I'm going to go for something like that. Let's compare it. So this one was a little bit bigger. Command T. I'm just going to move it something like that. Okay, next I'm going to bring in another ellipse tool. So I've already got my pink color selected. So if you notice over here, I've got my swatches. If you can't see your swatches, you can go to Window. Okay, and these are all different tools that you can use. Okay, and you can click on swatches and it'll pop over on the, on the right here. Um, I like to use my swatches so I can see what colors I've been previously using. So on my palette here, I've got uh, the pink selected. So we've got our ellipse tool. We've got shape selected again. Fill this time. I'm going to click fill. Okay, but we don't want uh, the gradient. We just want a fill color and it'll be this pink here. And the color we're going for is FFA 3D5. FFA 3D5 and click OK. Also, just to note, we've got uh, no stroke as well. So make sure that's uh, selected for no stroke. Same with the previous uh, circle, the ellipse. Okay, I'm going to talk about strokes uh, shortly in the text. Okay, but for now, just make sure, click on that and make sure you've got no stroke selected. And I'm going to draw a circle. In fact, I'm going to hold shift down and make it like that. I'm going to hit V on my keyboard and I'm just going to drag it something like that. So it's, it's uh, automatically aligned. Uh, yeah, it's looking, uh, it's looking good. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to this first ellipse tool. I'm going to select that layer. Okay, I'm going to press Command J on my keyboard, and this copies it. Press Command Z to undo that, or you can just drag and drop down onto the new layer. I'm going to drag this layer up now above the pink layer. Okay, and this means it's going to come on top of it. So imagine this uh, diagram, this uh, art piece that we've made so far. Imagine it laid flat. If you were looking, everything's stacked up on top of each other. Okay, um, it's uh, now going to be on top. So I'm going to press Command T. So we've got two of these here now, and as I drag one across, okay, one's left there and one is here. I'm going to press Enter, and I'm probably going to reposition it again in a minute. But press Enter just there. So I hope that makes sense to you. <laughs> so next, so we've uh, kind of got our background set up. I'm going to bring in Raheem Sterling. I'm going to drag and drop him there. And I'm going to just 
randomly place him roughly just about there and press enter. Now at this stage, okay, you might see uh, you've got some rulers. If you don't, okay, press command R. Okay, and that'll bring them on or get rid of them. Okay, if you right click, you can change if you want it in pixels, inches, centimeters. Okay, uh, I usually like centimeters. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the ruler and drag across and it'll bring in a guide. And the guide is just gonna snap into place. Okay, and this means this is like the center of our document now. So if I can if I take Raheem there, press Command T, okay, and hold Alt on my keyboard and drag him out. Okay, I can just place him there. However, if you notice, he's he's now centered, but his head and down his body is off center. So just going to move him across a fraction. You can use the arrows on your keyboard just to nudge him across. Okay, not too much because we don't want a gap between his hands on that side there. So just going to play around with him, press enter now if I compare it to the previous one. Command T is a little bit smaller. I'm going to press enter there now. So we've got this from Footy Renders, links will be in the description below. Okay, I'm going to go down to the bottom, I'm going to click a layer mask. Click this little icon here. Now a layer mask helps us um, work non-destructively. So make sure you've got black and white selected here, it should have happened automatically. Hit B for your brush tool. Make sure you've got your opacity and your flow all the way to the top. Okay, right click or double click. So it's a nice hard round brush. Okay, and if you just click, and it's just gonna take that away. Now those pixels have not been deleted, they've just been hidden on here. So if I disable my layer mask, okay, they pop back up. If I enable my layer mask, it's on. It's, how can I describe it? It's, yeah, it's it's just like painting, painting over the top. So this time I'm going to right click, I'm going to select a nice soft brush. Make it nice and big and I'm just going to paint away along the bottom there. Okay, nice and soft so it's um, it blends in a little bit. If I press X on my keyboard now, so I've got the white selected, make the keys a little bit smaller. Okay, you can see the circle's crept in where he's got a bit of a uh, see-through. So I'm just going to bring this brush down. Just going to circle around there, just so um, that circle disappeared. And he's blended in quite nicely there, so I'm happy with that. So we've set up Sterling, we're not going to make any adjustments to him. We're just going to leave him like that. Next, I'm going to bring in a rectangle, so I'm going to do a new layer. I'm going to go over to the ellipse tool. This time I'm going to select a rectangle tool. Shape. Okay, the fill. I'll go for a blue colour here. So, what colour was this one? I just click that. So, 39A0E2. 39A0E2. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to drag and drop. I'm going to go for something like that, nice and uh, nice and skinny. Okay, hit my move tool. I'm just going to drag it down to something around there. So you press Command H to get rid of your guide as well if it's annoying you. Okay, so we've got. I'm going to rename that. Double click the text and I'll call it blue rectangle. Uh, next, new layer. Hit T for your type tool. Okay, so it's another tool. So we're using a lot of tools here. So we're. If it's a bit, I hope it's not overwhelming. All right, but. Again, we're using uh, quite a lot of type, uh, tools, and this is the type tool, okay? Now, the font I'm gonna use is uh, Bavis New. Okay, it's quite a popular one. It's on defont.com. Link will be in the description below. Very simple, download, and just open your downloads folder, double click, and it'll install. Very simple, okay? Clicked it on the right here, I've got sharp, size, don't worry about that, we'll change that in a minute, and the color, I'm just going to go up here and select a white in the top corner and click OK. I think it'd be quite big here. I'm just going to, in fact, I'm just going to drag it down to about 10. OK, it doesn't matter for the time being. I'm just going to type in Sterling. Press Command A to highlight it. OK, and resize it so it's lower than 
uh, the rectangle in size. I'm going to hit V and I'm just going to nudge it down uh, till it's it's looking uh, central. Okay, don't have to worry too much about it not being central. So that looks pretty cool like that. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Type Tool again, click on Sterling. There we go. I'm going to hit my Tab Tool to three three times. Type Sterling again. Tab Tool one, two, three. Sterling. Okay, drag it across. Okay, I'm just going to have it just off the edge there. Tab to free. Sterling. Okay, and what I can do is just drag it across there. So it's not four flush, it's coming off, which I think gives it a pretty cool uh, pretty cool vibe. Again, if it's if you wanted one central, I think I had one central there. Yeah, I had one central. So what you can do is Just do two. That looks pretty cool. And then go back to your type tool there. The other side of G1, two, and then start again. There we go. That's looking a lot better there. Nice and central, keeps it nice and flush. And press Command zero and it resizes it for you. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another type layer, so I'm gonna hit Enter and just going on. There we go. So come off that. I'm going to new layer. Okay, I'm going to hit T for my type tool. Okay, this time I'm using one called Lemon Milk. Okay, it's the first time I've used this. Um, again, uh, use whatever fonts you want. Okay, this link will be in the description below. And this time it will be quite big. And I'm just going to type out Manchester. And I'm going to drag it. To somewhere like there. Okay, I'm just going to click my move tool for a second, press Command H to bring up my guide. Well, I've got Manchester selected as a layer, I'm going to press Command T. Okay, and you can see that we can uh, adjust it so it's nice and central. And it's a little bit too big, so I'm going to press go back onto it, press T for my text tool, Command A, and I'm just going to resize it just around here. Hit move tool, command T. That's looking quite good. I'm just going to bring it up so it's covering the blend as well that we did. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to mention about the stroke before. Okay, I'm going to click on here on the fill. I'm going to drop the fill right down to zero. And you think, ah, it's disappeared. Where is it? Don't you worry. Click on the uh, empty space in your layer, double click, and you get your layer styles. Again, don't get too bogged down in. Uh, too much what things do if this is your first time using Photoshop. Just go to stroke, so that's like around the outside of the text. Okay, the size we're going to bring down to three. Three, that's looking okay. Make sure the position's on the outside, the blend mode's normal. The opacity, so this is how much you can see of it. Okay, so if I lower it, okay, you can see it dims a little bit. Okay, we want that at 100. And the color to be white, a fill type color, and click OK. So that's looking good. New layer again. This time, hit your type tool, lemon milk again. Select your color, and we'll go for that blue color. So 39 alpha 0 E2. So like the Man City blue. Click on that one. I'm going to just type out. City, Command T, it's nice and central. I'm just going to use my keys on my keyboard. And hit enter. It's looking fantastic. Uh, we're going to bring in the Manchester United logo. So we're running out a little bit of room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select City at the top. I'm going to hit hold shift down and select the ellipse tool. So now we've got all our layers selected except the bottom layer. And press command T, you notice they've all popped up. Okay, and I'm just going to bring, use my keys on the keyboard. I'm just going to nudge them up and hit enter. So it's just giving us a little bit more room at the bottom. Yeah, selected the city layer. Okay, bring in the Manchester City logo. 
hold all of my keyboard, shrink it down. Uh, it's going to go for something like that. And hit enter. Another layer. So lots of layers in this one, lots of types tools. I'm going to hit T. I'm going to go for Babas New. And we'll go for a yellow colour. We'll go for a yellowish. I think you used before. We'll go with this yellow here. Now I don't know if you watched uh, Manchester City versus Arsenal last night. Uh, second game back from the Premier League after COVID-19. And they've got a slogan. And it was, we're not really here, okay, if it's uh, like supporting the fans, okay, so we're going to type that out as a bit of their advertisement poster. So we're going to type, we're not really here. Or you could type citizens or something, something associated with your team. And we're going to go with, go with eight there. Okay, so if you look, the letters are a little bit spaced out, so I'm going to select my character tool again if you can't see that go to window and you drop it down there pop and it'll pop out and this little symbol here okay sets the tracking for the selected characters okay it just brings it in and closes the letters we go for something like that that's looking a lot better hit my move tool hit command T just nudge it across and I'm just going to bring it up slightly and hit enter. So that's looking fantastic. Now you could leave it like that if you want, but as a little finishing touch, I've got some palm trees for that tropical vibe. I'm going to drag and drop one in here and I'm going to drag it up to the top, just up here. Careful not to cover my ellipse tool, hit enter. So we've got it offset there. Again, Command J, or you can just drag and drop onto the new layer. Move it down, and I'm going to use use something like that. You can press Command T. You can rotate it round a little bit, and just shrink it. Play around, see what you might like. I think that's looking good. Okay, Command J. So I've got another one. Command T. Drag and drop something like that. It's looking good. I'm going to come back up to this one up here, this bottom one. Press Command J, Command T. I'm going to rotate round something like that. Command Zero. So we're pretty much done. Now we're going to use a adjustment layer. So click this little icon here. Okay, loads of my other tutorials I use adjustment layers. Um, these is where the money happens in Photoshop. And I'm gonna to go to this one here, it's called Levels. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play around with the values to give it a bit of a faded vibe. So I'm just gonna drag that in, just darken those shadows, like 11, 10 or 11. And I'm gonna bring this slider to give the fade, excuse me, to around 30. The middle slider, you see the difference we're making. So just play around what you like. I think went around some 89. Dragged it along again, 25. And then gave it another fade there, 37. And there we go. As you can see that little eye there. Okay, that little eye there is where you can see if it's on and off and how you like it. Same with those ones there. And there you go, there is our tropical vibey poster. You can make this into a match day poster, match day image, um, something of those along those lines. If you're new to Photoshop, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Uh, if this is the first time you've seen my channel, please take a look at my other tutorials. There's plenty on there for beginners uh, and experts alike. If you like this video, click like. And if you like the content on the channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in a tutorial very soon.